Welcome back to the channel. Now, after all of this drought weather we've been having around the country, we are starting to see more and more reports of flooding around the country. Devastating losses in several states. Uh, this story came across my feed. Uh, thank you to those who shared this um, as well. 15 dead in a Kentucky flood. And they are calling it the most devastating in the state's history. So let's get into what has unfolded here. You can see on the screen there an image of a town just underwater. Again, we've seen images like this all around the country, but hey, it's like the most high. Our creator is making his rounds. <clears throat> We continue to talk about that because it's important to know that a lot of what we are seeing, period, not just with the weather, but all of the perilousness that we are seeing, it was all prophesied. Let's get into this story. It says 15 dead in a Kentucky flood, one of the most devastating in the state's history. At least 15 people have been killed in Kentucky amid one of the worst, most devastating floods in the state's history, uh, Governor Andy Bashir said on Friday, and he said he expects the death toll to double. Mm, mm, mm. It says among those killed was an 81-year-old woman, um, according to the governor. On Thursday, the governor said he anticipates this will be one of the deadliest floods in Kentucky in a very long time. Uh, there are more images there um, as we scroll through the article here. Um, this town is underwater. It says a flash flood emergency was issued in Kentucky late Wednesday as two to three, two to five inches of rain pounded the bluegrass state. The governor said there was a chance of another two to three inches of rain Thursday night or over the weekend. In most areas, the water hasn't crested yet, Bashir said Thursday. As of Friday morning, central and eastern Kentucky remain under a flood watch, according to Bashir. While rain totals are not expected to be as high, uh, flooding still remains a, a concern due to saturated grounds, uh, the governor tweeted. Uh, Please stay safe and alert, Kentucky. Okay, so the state is combating washed out roads. There are some more images there. Look at that one. This is someone's property. You can see the house, um, a couple of outbuildings. There's the swimming pool, um, another outbuilding, another outbuilding. That, mm. listen y'all, uh, these people are in a boat in a residential area. Look at that. <clears throat> It says the state is combating washed out roads, destroyed homes, and flooded schools, according to Bashir. Hundreds of residents are expected to lose their homes, and it'll likely take families years to recover and rebuild, he said. Three of Kentucky's state parks are being open to people who have lost their homes, according to the governor. Now, this is devastating, you all. Anytime what they call a natural disaster comes through you know that the most high um, has a hand in this right you know that the most high our creator he controls the weather and it is a sad and devastating loss for those who lose their homes in any situation a sad and devastating loss it's it's kind of hard for those who have not experienced certain things to to put themselves in that position they you just kind of look from afar and say okay that's what they're going through and you never imagine that this is something that you yourself could go through or you yourself could experience but this is exactly what is happening uh, people are definitely experiencing these kinds of things they are going through these things and the most high the most high 
he is definitely making his rounds around this planet. That's the only way I can explain it, y'all. Whether it's through these natural disasters, whether it's through all kinds of other things that are taking place where people's lives are being uprooted. He said in the last days, perilous times are going to come. And we continue to say the perilous times are here. People are going through all kinds of things, right? There's diseases on the planet. They're saying that monkeypox is now a global concern. There's another bacteria that they're claiming is in, in the water now. So it's so many things to look out for. We have got to get ourselves together spiritually and mentally. Right now, people are just doing their own thing, not even paying attention to the Most High and his judgments or his chastisement. But you know, when people start to pay attention to those things, when it happens to them, some people pay attention when it happens to them. I say the time to get your eyes open is now. Don't wait until it happens to you. But look and see and understand when it happens to someone else as well. If you've never been displaced, if you've never been without, then it's difficult for you to sympathize. Some people can't sympathize with other people. They simply can't unless it hits them. When it's on your doorstep, then you feel it and you know it and you realize it. But when it's not on your doorstep, it's very easy to turn, look the other way and not give a second thought about it. We are going to see an escalation in world devastation. Ask me how I know. Because it was prophesied. There will be an escalation in world devastation as the judgments of the Most High begin to pile up on planet Earth. So anyway, I wanted to share this with you. This was, you know, one of those devastations that you see and you see that there are this many people dead and they are expecting more. What else is on the horizon? I just shared another story where um, family, families in an apartment complex in North Carolina lost everything in a flood situation. So these, these types of things are going to continue to happen. And like I said, who knows what's on the horizon? If you study biblical prophecy, then you know that something is on the horizon. And there is absolutely nothing man can do to stop it. It's coming. With that, I'm out. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video. And with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also, comment, share, like and subscribe.